How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. It is time for update 32. I've just finished watching the live stream all about update 32. I can't believe it's been 32 updates. That's quite strange. But in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the 32nd update for Forza Horizon 4, which should be coming this week. I'm going to touch on more of that in a minute. This update contains one car pack, eight new cars um it's pretty cool so i will say off the bat that they say that they currently are having an issue with this update and there's a chance that it might not come out this week and um, supposedly the new festival playlist will start this thursday um starting with the new cars basically on this thursday however as, I, as i've just said they are having an issue and if they can't get it fixed then that means that the first week starting this thursday won't have anything new and they'll have to use a backup festival playlist so hopefully hopefully it works out and we get it this week i can imagine we probably will they're usually quite good at fixing stuff however there's a chance that it might be delayed a week or so um, i don't know how it's going to work if they fix it halfway through a week we'll just have to wait and see so anyway, let's start with the festival playlist, which hopefully starts this Thursday. Um, as you can see on screen, I'll have the photos of it. If this video does help you out in any way, guys, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. It helps out massively. Now, for the whole festival playlist, at 50% completion, you can get the backstage pass and 80% completion, the ATS GT. Now, the first week, which is summer, as you can see, it's on screen already. Hopefully this starts this week. For 50% completion, you can, you can get the Zenvo TSRS and then 80% completion, the Mercedes AMG, the one that's on screen. And then in a seasonal championship or an event in, in summer, you can get the first new car, which is the 2020 Ford Mustang GT500. You may have noticed that you actually need to unlock this car to complete the photo challenge, as you can see here, which is done in the Ford GT500. On to the second week, which hopefully starts next Thursday. For 50% completion, you can get a backstage pass, and for 80% completion, the Ford GT40. The third week, which is winter, for 50% completion, you can get the backstage pass again. Plenty of backstage passes available this month. Um, and then at 80% completion, the McLaren MP4-12C. Now the fourth week, which is spring, which is hopefully like three weeks from now, for 50% completion, you can get the McLaren F1, and then for 80%, the Lexus LFA. And then through a seasonal championship, both of the new cars are through seasonal championships this month, makes them nice and easy to get. You can get the 2012 Shelby 1000. I know lots of people are going to be happy to go to unlock this. I hope they've nailed it with the sound of these cars. After they're all, they are beefy engines so hopefully they sound nice but yes the 2012 shelby 1000 is coming in spring this month now for the car pack which contains six of the eight new cars i hope that makes sense the leaks and the rumors were true we are getting a hot wheels legends car pack with six new cars which are the 1957 am roadster the 2018 2 jet z or the 2JZ powered um, Hot Wheels car, as you can see on screen, pretty damn cool. The 1957 Nash Metropolitan, the 1972 Chevrolet LUV, I might be butchering some of these names, but you get the gist. 1949 Ford F5 Dually Customized, and the 1969 International Harvester. Those are the six new cars within the Hot Wheels car pack. Now this car pack isn't free, I didn't expect it to be. The amount of free content free content we get from Horizon or Playground Games, I'm not really that bothered. They deserve to, you know, charge us for something at some point. But this car pack will set you back $10, presumably converted to around £7, something around there. Um, to me it's worth it, it's a cool car pack. Now whether the car pack will be delayed as well, if the update has to be delayed, we're not sure if the car pack will have to be delayed as well. I'm going to guess not. I'm going to guess that they can just give us the car pack regardless of if the festival playlist breaks. Um, okay, I'm get, I guess we'll wait and see. But that should all be coming out this week um, as long as everything goes well. Now, about the Hot Wheels thing, this makes a Hot Wheels expansion less likely in my opinion. They've announced a car pack. They have not said a word about an expansion. 
So my opinion now is that we are not getting a Hot Wheels expansion. I believe these rumours were just about a car pack, which we've seen now. Not heard anything about an expansion. I don't think it's happening. Again, I could be wrong. I doubt I'm wrong. When am I ever wrong? I'm always right. I'm joking, I'm wrong quite often. But I really don't think that we're going to get a Hot Wheels expansion. So try to forget about that for now if you were excited about it. Now for the updates and fixes of this update, there wasn't really anything. The, the only thing that they mentioned is that they have fixed an issue where Xbox players, um, their game will crash sometimes when downloading a livery. So if you ever, if you were, <laughs> if you were ever, there we go, I got to it. If you were ever having an issue with downloading liveries, your game will no longer crash. So there you go. So yeah, there's eight new cars coming. Six of them are in a car pack. Two of them are in the festival playlist. The two that are, are added are actually really cool. We're finally getting more and more content to do on the channel. Falls has been rather dead over Christmas and there's just been so much going on. I've personally been wanting this Shelby 1000 for a long time and I know several other people that have been buzzing for it. Um, so we'll definitely hopefully be doing a live stream when those come out live streams are back on the table well, now there's more and more coming forza related i don't think it's going to be too long in my opinion until we get more information on the next forza the next forza motorsport that is and if the rumors are true about horizon 5 releasing this year that's something we will probably hear about within the next few months as well or maybe more than a few months i'm trying to think now within within four months i'm gonna say if it's happening we'll hear about it if it's not happening we won't hear about it obviously but we'll get some information we are getting into that time of the year where information about the next game will release and i believe that will also tell us about an expansion as well if an expansion is coming or not um, so this is update 2032, however I do believe in update 33, 34 and 35 that's where if anything's happening with a new expansion or new Forza, at some point around there that's where we'll hear about it within the next few months. So when it comes to Forza content and updates the next few months are going to be very exciting. Anyway guys let me know in the comment section below what you are most looking forward to in this update, the car pack or the Shelby or the GT500. Anyway guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. I'll see you all later.